Hi everyone, we are here to present our project on Arduino. Our project basically consists of three different functioning. The first is object avoiding, the second is human falling, and the third is remote control. Let's see. Starting with the components, we have DC motors, Arduino Uno, a motor shield, battery holder, switch, Bluetooth module, servo meter, ultrasonic sensor, and two infrared sensors. Now talking about the wiring, DC motors have two wires each, one is positive and one is negative. All the eight wires are attached to the motor driver through uh, to the M1, M2, M3 and N4, M4 plug. Then uh, we have servo motor. Servo motor have three pin. One is for VCC, one is for ground and one is for input and output. The ultrasonic sensor have four pins. One is VCC, ground and uh, input and output. Infrared sensors have three pins each. VCC, ground, input and output. Battery holders are having two pins for VCC, which is power and ground. Switch is also having the same uh, for VCC and ground, two wires. Uh, for Bluetooth module, we have four wires again. One is VCC, one is ground, and one is RX and TX. TX transmits the signal and RX receives the signal. Now we will explain the code. I am going to explain the orbit following part of this model. It works with the help of the infrared sensors. If both the infrared sensors are active, the, the model will move forward because it, the, the object is placed in front of the infrared sensors. If either of the infrared sensors are active, it will move towards that side and the rest, rest side it won't. Now I will explain you remote control mode. It takes input from a mobile or a device and works accordingly. For example, if you press forward button, it will move forward. If you press backward button, it will move backward. If you press left button, it will move left. And if you press right button, it will move right. For operating this robot, we have used afmotor.h library which supports keywords like forward, backward and release. These keywords we have used in different functions for movement of this robot. I'm going to explain about the obstacle avoiding function. In this function, we have used a supporting function which is named as ultrasonic. The ultrasonic function returns us the distance of the object from our ultrasonic sensor. Then it checks whether the distance is greater than 40 or not. If it is greater than 40, it moves in the forward direction. Else, if the distance is smaller than 40 cm, it stops, moves backward, the servo moves left, records the distance of the object on the left, then comes to center, then turns to right, records the distance of the object on the right, then comes to center. The side it records more distance, it turns that side and then moves forward. So this was my team and hope everyone liked the project. Thank you.